at the right place but don't know what to do next don't know which college to go to don't know should you go on a date with that person don't know if you should marry that person don't know if you should buy a house build a house don't know if you should go to the medical school or if you should go to a teacher's school don't know if you should go to a Christian college or internship when you are at the right place but you are in, in, in the dark God didn't leave you he wants to see you pray because there's Ananias he's talking to right now but he wants to give a reference that you're praying pray it means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning, 7 in the morning, 8 in the morning, whatever your time is, if you are in the dark but you're in the right place, you're like, man, I know God's supposed to have me at Hungry Gen, but I don't know what to do next. Pray. It's always pray. Great destiny ahead of him. Horrible past behind him completely oblivious to what he should do next but he is praying when you don't know what to do talk to God when you don't know what to do get on your knees and say God I seek you I don't know what the next step has to do I don't know where to go God but you are my light and my salvation you are my way you are my truth and you are my life I will be praying I will be praying I will be fasting I will be seeking the face of God somebody shall pray your neighbor say you gotta pray more you gotta pray more if you don't know what to do pray you know how to pray pray the Bible says behold Saul is praying behold Saul is praying God will lead you to a right place before he leads you to right people if you are at the right place but you haven't met right people pray I remember something happened with with me and Lana I met Lana and then the next day I broke up with her and uh, <laughs> I had a problem with my head and so I, I, I truly did I had such an indecisiveness I wasn't sure was this the one is this not the one and it was the New Year's of 2009 and our church two days later goes into 21 day prayer and fasting I was confused I was in I was in the dark I did not know what do I do next do I pursue what, what is wrong with me why do I start relationships and it ends and I just I get cold feet and I get so indecisive and I quit and so but when I was in the dark we were praying and after about you know 17 days of, of fasting you know something happens when you pray God will send you Ananias when you are in the dark right now but you're in the right place start praying Ananias will come and for me just the clarity came in just the understanding came in and then I reached out to her you know and then four months later we were engaged and then we were married and so I, I could testify from, from from my life is that your purpose is tied to the right place but before the right people come to the right place there is that gap where you need to pray and I'm not talking about that prayer on the way to work while you're doing makeup I'm not talking about that to your favorite K-Love song I'm talking about you set some time to pray I'm talking about you set quality time to pray. I'm talking about you give your attention. Now while you're scrolling the Instagram, you say, well, I'm praying for all my feeds. No, 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 no. Your feeds don't need that prayer. You need prayer right now. You're praying. You set some quality time. You put your heart into that prayer. You, no, no, no. Not under your sheets. That's not praying, my friend. That is laying. <laughs> you need to get out of your sheets and, and get on your knees. Get before the Lord. Do something where your blood is flowing. You're awake. You need to be praying. 